Now today we're looking at our top five card forces that I can do for you guys. So eventually I'm going to be teaching you all of them because they're so much fun. Any of them that I have taught already, I will link in the description below, right below the like button, so you guys can check them out and learn them for yourselves. So we're going to do the top five, two honorable mentions, and if you guys want to subscribe and ring the bell, it wouldn't hurt you any, and I'd love it if you did. So let's get into this video right now. Now at number five, we're looking at the Riffle Force. Now the card I'm going to be trying to force on you is the Nine of Clubs. Now before we get into that, we need of course give the deck a quick shuffle, maybe a few cuts, and now I'm going to see if I can get this thing to work. So just go ahead and call it stop at any point. So right there, that'll work for me. And the card that you selected was the Nine of Clubs. At number four, we're looking at the Sight Force. So let me do this to you really quickly. I'm just going to have you remember any card in the deck that you want to. So hopefully you saw one. If you didn't, I'll show you one more time. Maybe you saw one, maybe you didn't, and hopefully that you, hope that you saw the Ace of Spades, of course. So hopefully that worked on you. That is the Sight Force. If you want to see a clip from Now You See Me, where, it, like, the very beginning of the movie, it does a Sight Force on the entire movie theater, which is super cool that it can be used like that through a screen. So I'll leave a quick clip to that in the description below, and let's get in to number three. Number three is the slip force. Now this time I'm going to be trying to force on you the five of spades. So before we get into that, let's just give this thing a quick shuffle up. There we go. So just a quick shuffle and let's get into this really fun force. So just go again, call it stop for me. Right there. Great, that works for me. So just go ahead and look at your card. The five of spades. Now number two, which might be a little bit controversial, is the cross cut force. Now the reason I love this so much is it is a timing misdirection force. So let's dive into it. So at this point I could even let you shuffle up the cards, but to this point I'm just going to do it because you're not here and I'm going to do it. So I shuffle up the cards and you can go ahead and just cut the deck anywhere you want to. Right there? Great. So we'll set this off to the side. And to make sure that I'm not going to do any sleight of hand, I'm just going to put the other deck on it like a plus sign. Now normally I'd have a table that I'm doing this on, but clearly I don't have a table. I mean, I have the one back there, but that's a different story. So you did all the work, well, after I shuffled it, obviously. So I shuffled it, you gave the cards a cut, and I've done no sleight of hand to this whatsoever. You cut it wherever you want to, and I still forced the four of diamonds on you. How is this possible? We'll take a look. Right here, four of diamonds is the card that you freely cut to. Now with our two honorable mentions, the first one I'm going to go with is the turnover force. Now my goal on this one is to force the two of hearts on you, and here's how it works. So go ahead and just cut it about a third of the way right there. Great. So just flip that over, and we're going to set there. Now this time try to cut it at two thirds of the way. This would all be you doing the work, and you'd be cutting it wherever on earth you want to. So we'd go through the cards until we find the first face down card. And at this point, we flip it over and it realize it is your two of hearts. And the second one is the Cull Force. Now this time I'm going to try to force the King of Hearts on you. So I'm just going to be going through the cards and you can just call out stop whenever you want to, so just literally just touch any card you want. This one right here, right, right here. Sweet. I'm going to square that up, and you picked the King of Hearts. Now on to my number one force that I love to do on spectators, and this one is the High Rise Force. Now I'm not sure if that's the actual name of it, because I've never actually heard of it having a name, so if you know what the name of this force is, let me know down in the comments below so that way I can hopefully be able to teach this trick if I haven't already and then I'll be able to actually name it the right thing. So if you know what this is, let me know and I'll show you how it works. So I'm just going to ruffle down the cards, you'll call out stop. So let's say I called out stop there, the card you would have selected would have been the seven of spades. Now hopefully you'll choose the three of spades instead, but you know I guess that's on you. So go out stop, right there, great. This is the card and I'll just, right there it is. Now this is not something I'm turning over two cards. This is legitimately one card. And there we go. You now have my favorite force. 
So I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did like it, make sure to smash the like button and you can pick up this deck of cards in the description below for 10% off. Hopefully I can save you guys some money. Well, hopefully, I mean, I will because 10% off is saving you money. So you're welcome. If you haven't already, subscribe and ring the bell and I'll catch you guys in the next one. In two days, where I'm putting up another top five video. It's craziness. Let's get into it. This is Card Perfect, signing off.